Today marks one year since missing Columbia woman Munchie G was last seen alive. A spokesman with the Columbia Police Department told us there were no updates about when the search would resume at the Lamine River. He said that it's a matter of Columbia Water and Light getting the equipment arranged to remove the levee built at the river. And we did reach out to the director of utilities to see when crews would be available to remove that part, but we haven't gotten an immediate response. The department also said there is still a possibility of not finding any evidence while the levee is being removed. Now, Munchie G's husband, Joseph Elledge, is the prime suspect in the investigation and is scheduled to appear in court tomorrow afternoon. He has maintained his innocence in her disappearance. And one year after the Munchie G disappearance, Columbia police are reflecting on the search efforts to find answers. ABC 17 News investigates what made the search for Munchie G's remains unusual and at what cost. ABC 17's Sydney Olson dove into the budget for the search so far. In the past 365 days, the efforts to recover Meng Shiji's remains and solve the case have been substantial. Her husband, Joseph Elledge, is facing charges for her murder and child endangerment. Columbia police, along with volunteers and other law enforcement agencies, have spent months searching the Lamine River, building a levee to get heavy machinery further out on the river, and taking it back out. The search has changed the way Columbia police have looked at operations after they've gotten creative bringing in special expertise. Can't be an expert in every field, but every investigation you pick up more techniques. Amy Saladay, the attorney for G's family, sent a statement from G's family that said, in part, this is not a missing person's case, but the murder of our only child, who herself was also a mother. We will never give up looking for Meng Shi. We continue to hope for answers so that she can have a proper burial and we can have a funeral. The search for Xi has also racked up thousands of dollars, but the department is still well below its $50,000 budget. CPD has spent more than $28,000 so far, mostly for equipment to build the levee. That cost will be lowered, though, because the Missing Person Support Center has donated $10,000 to the search, and the Boone County Commission has agreed to cover half of all final expenses. Even after the murder case goes to trial, no matter the outcome, Columbia Police will continue their search for answers. If there is a lead or the, if there is a, an opportunity to solve the case, we're going to keep going at it, no matter how long it's been. I reached out to Joseph Village's attorney to ask how he thinks the case is going and whether he thinks there's anything police could have done differently. He didn't respond to those questions, but he did say Elledge is ready to clear his name in trial. The Boone County Prosecutor's Office says a trial in the murder case has not been scheduled yet and it could be the middle of next year before it actually goes before a judge.